In this example, I'm going to talk a little bit more about sprites. And uh, in order to demonstrate this, I've kind of made a little program that just basically uh, rolls a dice. Let's take a look at it. And you see it's not very long at all. Now, you, you should remember SP set from uh, a couple of tutorials ago. That basically sets the sprite up on the screen using the X and Y coordinates of your sprite on your sprite sheet. What SPOFS does is it actually sets the X and Y coordinates of where you want to put your sprite on the screen. And the last um, parameter is Z, which is that's how much 3D is going to... N negative numbers pretty much pop out at you and positive numbers is kind of like look inside 3D. And here I also have uh, SP scale, which what SP scale does is it multiplies the size. This is the width and the height size. And uh, as you can notice, I put zero as the first parameter. That is the sprite ID. That's how all of these know exactly which sprite we're talking about. And then the last one I want to talk about is SPCHR. That is basically a sprite change character. It changes that's the X and Y positions on uh, the sprite sheet. So it this is what changes our dice to the different numbers. And as you can see, I used a for loop. I said for I equals 0 to 10. So it's going to run 10 times. Dice equals a random number. And inside random, it counts 0. So just because it says 5, it actually means 6 numbers since it's counting 0. So if dice equals 0, then I change it to the dice that is the 1, 1, then I change the dice that is the 2, and so on and so on, and I wait 10 cycles or seconds or whatever that is um, in between them so that I have time to actually see it change.